you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my youtube channel you guys in today's video i am going to be sharing all about my christmas or holiday plans that i have for our homeschool in the month of december so you guys i am really excited about today's video because this is actually in part of a collaboration hosted by christy from these little sprouts she actually reached out to me to be a part of this collab where we will be sharing all about our christmas or holiday homeschooling plans so i'm really really excited you guys to share with you all the plans that i have for the month of december in our homeschool so if any of you guys are new to my channel and this is your first time clicking on today's video hi i'm Brittany. i am a a homeschooling mom to three girls ages 10, 4, and 2, and I'm in my third year of homeschool. So you guys, in the month of December, we actually will be wrapping up our last six week term, which I'm so excited about. So we are gonna be doing a little bit of curriculum and work throughout the month of December. Um, in my previous years, I have scheduled it where I was able to take the full month of December off. However, this year we are doing things a little bit different. So I have my calendar right here of our term and where we will be at, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go over it with you right now. So we will be finishing off our weeks five and six in the month of December. So the first two weeks of December, uh, which is the 5th through the 9th and the 12th through the 16th, we will actually still be doing our curriculum. Um, we won't be doing like our full load of our curriculum, but we still will be wrapping up some of our uh, loose ends, some of uh, our halfway points that I really want us to be at. We will be finishing that in the first two weeks of December. And then for the weeks of the 19th through January 6th, we will be actually taking a three week Christmas vacation. So this year I decided to extend our Christmas break in the month of January because you guys, after the holidays, I typically was burnt out and I really wasn't ready to start our homeschool. And this year I wanted to do things a little bit different. I really wanted to just have a, another reset and recharge in the month of January. And that's why I went ahead and I pushed back our holiday break. And I really think it's gonna be beneficial, not just only to me, but to like my daughter and to our household where we will have that opportunity to do like that January refresh, you know, take down our Christmas decorations, really get our house in order in preparation to start off our homeschooling year strong in our second semester. So that's why I schedule things out a little bit different this year and hopefully uh, it will work out to our benefit in our homeschool and um, hopefully my daughter won't mind working a little bit more in the month of December. So you guys, I'm going to go over all the things that we're going to be doing in our first two weeks of December, uh, just because um, I just wanted to show you guys. So as far as Leia, my four-year-old, we actually will be finishing preschool math at home with her. I'm so excited, you guys. So we will just be wrapping this up in our first two weeks of December with her. We are also going to be finishing a gentle and classical preschool. We started this in April. So I'm really, really excited as we are closing off this program. Um, this program was so great great um and Leia she really really enjoyed it and these two kind of go along together so we will be finishing off these two pieces of curriculum with my four-year-old and we will be just continuously working through all about reading the pre-reading program we will actually be done with the first unit which will be the uppercase letters so those are just some of my goals as far as Leia goes in our first two weeks of December as far as Brielle goes we will be continuing Saxon math uh, she will actually be working on Saxon math throughout the whole month of December. I will give her a few days off. We typically don't take huge breaks when it comes to math and that's kind of one of my secrets to making sure I typically either stay ahead or we're always on par when it comes to math. I really don't give her big gaps and big breaks with it. She just keeps going and she's kind of used to it uh, by now. So we will be working on Saxon math through the whole month of December. She will be finishing up or working on, not finishing up, but she will be working on Robin Hood Fix It Grammar in the first two weeks of December. We will be working on our spelling. We're going to be doing science. We're going to be wrapping up our universe. And then we're also going to be wrapping up the first part of A River of Voices. So that is like my curriculum goes as far as uh, the month of December, really just making sure we are at those halfway points that I really want us to be at. So 
after we finish those first two weeks of December, we are going to have some fun, you guys, and we are going to do a Christmas unit study. And this is going to be our second year doing this unit study from a gentle and classical, uh, pre a gentle and classical press. And this is their Christmas unit study. You guys, we had so much fun doing this Christmas unit study last year. I really, really enjoy all of like the memory verses and the catechisms and the memory statements that we went over with this program. It really has a cute uh, storyboard that I was able to use to reenact the uh, Christmas story, especially for my younger two. Um, but we really, really enjoyed this one. While I didn't do all of the cooking and all of the arts and crafts, and we actually didn't read all of the books that they recommended, we still had fun piecing this together and really uh, incorporating it in our home and our homeschool to best suit us. So we really, really had a good time with this one. I really love the fact that it incorporates us actually doing a full-on Bible study while we are doing the Christmas story and it really benefited my oldest daughter Brielle as we were going over the Christmas story we were reading it throughout the Bible and she really got a deeper understanding of it and we really really enjoyed this one so you guys in my last video I actually shared with you all of like my Christmas picture well not all of them but some of my favorite Christmas picture books we will be reading throughout the uh, Christmas season you guys like I love Christmas I love picture books and I love reading with my kiddos so um, if you guys want to check out all of the other Christmas picture books that I have shared with you guys you can check out that video I will go ahead and link it in my our cards and my description box below so you can see some of the Christmas picture books we will be reading in uh, this upcoming holiday season and I'm so excited uh, for all of the picture books we will be reading. A few that goes along with a gentle and classical um, Christmas that I do have is Christmas in the Big Woods and I also have the book called The Night Tree as well that goes along with a gentle and classical Christmas. The cool thing about this unit is that a lot of the books I didn't have last year and I utilized the YouTube read aloud section and I just typed in a lot of these books and we just listened to them on YouTube to, which was really really cool for us to do last year um now if you guys are looking for like a longer chapter uh picture chapter book not picture book but if you guys are looking for like a longer chapter book you do want to read in your household during the month of december we have read the vanderbeekers of 141st street we read this in our first year of homeschool and this was such a cute uh heartwarming story about a biracial family who is trying to get their who is trying to uh, warm over their landlord so they can renew their lease before uh, Christmas. And this was such a cute book. It was really, really heartwarming. It had a lot of sense of family and community. And my daughter really, really enjoyed this one in our first year of homeschool. Another book that we read last year was actually called The Best Slash Worst Christmas Pageant Ever. And you guys, this one was really, really good. I actually purchased this because Tori, she recommended it on her YouTube channel and this was such a 90s feel <laughs> book about these bad children the hurt men in this Christmas pageant you guys it was funny I was laughing and it definitely was a light-hearted Christmas read and this one was a shorter read than the Vanderbeekers but these both were really really good longer chapter book read alouds that we have read in the past in our homeschool if you are looking for like a Christmas like type of read aloud you guys, other than that, you know, um, I really don't have any huge or big plans during this holiday season. I do want to get my daughter, my oldest daughter, Brielle, in a kitchen. I want us to work on some uh, traditional uh, family uh, bacon recipes. She's going to be making like some sweet potato biscuits. I want her to learn how to make sweet potato pie. We're going to make homemade Chex Mix and we're going to make some um, homemade uh, white chocolate bark. And we're also going to make some homemade orange tea. These are just a few of our family recipes that I feel like now she has uh, increased her skills in the kitchen she will be ready to like uh, work on some of our you know family traditional uh, recipes and things like that um, but you guys other than that um, I'm really gonna kick back I'm gonna put my feet up this season um, I think me and my daughters we definitely deserve a break after a long hard semester we have been working on and um, I'm really not gonna put too much pressure on us while I do have a plan to do like some Christmas books and our Christmas unit if we don't get to it every day I'm really just going to uh, not put the pressure on us I really want us to relax and enjoy this holiday season especially since we are having family come in town and you guys we are just gonna just keep it 
simple over here. Um, but you guys, I really hope you enjoy hearing like all of my holiday plans and all the things that I have for us to get up to in this holiday season. In the comment section below, you guys, let me know if you have any plans to do any unit studies. Uh, what are your plans for the month of December? Again, Christy, thank you so much for inviting me to join in this collab. And you guys, don't forget to check out the playlist where you can hear all of the other YouTubing mamas, their Christmas homeschool holiday plans that they have as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.